Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of the talk show. I'm your host, Suri Smith, coming to you from the Motorrad showroom at Daytona Santon. We have got a great lineup for this week, so buckle up because it's time to put pedal to the metal. Coming up on the show, we test out the new Peugeot 2008 and meet its rivals. We check out the sexy new S1000RR and reveal the hot new Kia Picanto, finishing off with motoring news. We heard that the new Peugeot 2008 SUV encompasses empathic style with sportier looks. We were intrigued and ordered one to test. Take a look. is the Peugeot 2008 GT line. Its 1.2 PureTech petrol engine pushes out 81 kilowatts of power and an impressive 205 newton meters of torque, reaching a top speed of 188 kilometers per hour. Pull off will also be quite quick as it goes from zero to 100 in 10.3 seconds. That aside, its bold stance, 17-inch alloy wheels and roof rails promises great adventures. The sharp design and robust character of the 2008 incorporates all the qualities of a compact SUV. Its new vertical front face features a fully integrated grille with an embossed pendant design that surrounds the central Peugeot line badge. The horizontal bonnet and rear sport spoiler enhance the sophisticated, sportier look while front and rear scuff plates and roof bars provide SUV practicality. Wheel arch extensions add to the SUV styling and provide more protection for the bodywork. From a lure level, new two-tone black and chrome headlights provide definition and structure to the new 2008 SUV. Then there's also the integrated LED daytime running lights, adding a touch of finesse to the new design, whilst also providing excellent visibility. Instantly recognizable as a Peugeot, the tailgate is framed by full LED rear light clusters with a 3D claw design. This trademark claw design has become an integral part of Peugeot's style identity and is equipped on the entire new 2008 SUV range. The interior of the 2008 is pretty impressive. The model we tested had a sunroof that when opened offers a refreshing and open feeling to the cabin. The innovative layout in the Peugeot R cockpit makes driving intuitive, agile and safe as the ergonomic driving position helps focus your attention on the road ahead. The compact sports steering wheel sits lower than a traditional design which means that your arms are both lower and closer together. This not only reduces driver fatigue but offers more precise steering and improved maneuverability. Now, I mentioned adventures. You'll be happy to know that the 2008 offers grip control, which is an adapted traction control system that responds to most terrains and weather conditions. It acts on the front wheels by adjusting wheel spin and torque to optimize traction in low grip conditions. Coupled with 17-inch alloy wheels and mud and snow tires, it is now compatible with the E86 automatic gearbox. Grip control uses electronic components that are already installed in the car, meaning that it adds no extra weight and therefore no excessive fuel consumption, unlike a traditional 4x4. Grip control offers five driving modes, standard, snow, mud, sand and ESP off.
safety is something that should always be ticked off your list first. Which is why we love that all versions of the new 2008 SUV have a high level of active safety and are equipped with electronic stability control as standard. This comprises traction control, stability control, emergency brake assist, anti-wheel lock braking system and electronic brake force distribution. The electronic stability control is combined with heel assist which briefly immobilizes the vehicle giving you time to move your foot from brake to accelerator when starting the car on a slope. This vehicle has automatic headlights, front fog lights with cornering and follow me home lights which means that it will be brightening up your life a little. You will be able to fit two of your friends or family members comfortably at the back but the one sitting in the middle will be a little bit uncomfortable due to the raised console in the middle. Apart from that, you've got a 12 volt input where you can charge your phone and you've got hooks to hang your dry cleaning. There's a, a lovely open feeling at the back that can add to some spaciousness, but the large bucket seats in front of you do take away from your vision of the road, so the back passengers might be left feeling a little bit bored. So although the back passengers might be a little bit bored on a long trip when you are on a journey, they will be happy to know that this vehicle will have a lot of boot space, so most of their luggage will be able to fit in here. So you getting a car that is comfortable to drive, extremely safe and versatile. It's great for a student or a startup family. Not a bad choice at all. Now we like to keep you the consumer up to date on all your options. So up next let's see whether any of the beauties bumping head to head with the Peugeot 2008 catches your fancy. Starting with the star of our show, the cheeky Peugeot 2008 1.2T GT Line Auto that retails for 349900 The crossover sports a 1.2 litre petrol turbocharged engine that accelerates 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 10.1 seconds, reaching a top speed of 188 kilometers per hour. Speed aside, this vehicle is great on fuel consumption as it consumes on average 5.2 litres per 100 kilometres. The 2008 also has six airbags for your safety. Then there is also the Toyota CHR 1.2T Plus Auto that is priced slightly higher than the 2008, retailing at 357800 the CHR also sports a turbocharged petrol engine which accelerates 0 to 100 km per hour in 11.1 seconds, reaching a top speed of 185 km per hour. Fuel consumption will be on average 6.4 litres per 100 km and you will get two airbags as standard. If that does not tickle your fancy then you could opt for the Opel Mokka X 1.4 Turbo Enjoy Auto that retails for a lower price at 328400 the Mokka X will accelerate from 0 to 100 in 10.7 seconds, reaching a top speed of 191 km per hour. 6.2 litres per 100 km will be consumed on average and you will feel extra safe knowing that you have 6 standard airbags. Finally, you could also opt for the Mazda CX-3 2-litre individual auto that retails for 365400 The 2-litre petrol engine will reach 0 to 100 km per hour in 9.5 seconds, reaching a top speed of 192 km per hour. Fuel consumption will be 6.1 litres per 100 km on average and you will also have peace of mind knowing that you have 6 standard airbags. 
so many options to choose from. Moving on swiftly, we went in search of an attention-grabbing superbike. We found one over at the Motorrad showroom at Daytona Santon. What we found was the S1000RR. Take a look at this beauty. With me is Pixie and she's a sales executive over here at the Motorrad showroom. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. you got to tell me more about this beautiful bike. Well, I'm very glad that you chose this baby because it most definitely is my favorite bike. So we're looking at four different riding modes with it. It comes standard with rain, road, race and slick, which offers the optimum coordination between your electric throttle, ABS, traction control and dynamic dampening. In other words, the bike is constantly running at its optimum performance no matter what the riding conditions are. Wow, so in other words, this bike is great on the road and also on the track. Most definitely. So I'm sure that people want to know about the performance levels. Tell us more. You're looking at 146 kilowatts at 13,500 RPM as well as 113 newton meters at 10,500 RPM. Wow, that's 0 to 100 in? 3.1 seconds at a yeah. weight of 208 kilograms. That is impressive. Okay, so I also believe that it's got a list of features. Run us through that. So you're looking at your cruise control, which is always lucky to have on the bike. And that's standard, right? That is standard. Uh, we got quick shifter up and down with auto blip function, LED indicators, and one of the nice things that's come out with these new bikes is the dynamic dampening control, which in essence actively monitors what conditions you're riding in and adjusts your, your suspension every 10 milliseconds. It's on another level, in other words. So, okay, let's talk pricing. Okay, so we're looking at 247,990 for the standard color specs and 252 120 for the motorsport color oh wow and then i heard that there's uh, some sort of promotion running Tell yes correct so we're offering a training track day with clinton pinner on any new purchase of the bike guys there you have it i'm definitely adding one to the wish list make your way over to motorad and check this one out now time to take a short break but don't go anywhere because after the break we show you a hot new model to the Kia lineup. See you after the break.